All right, today I'm in, back in my studio, finally, and uh, tip-top shape and ready to work on my saddle to get it ready to go on the horse. Time to play with some clay. All right, one of the things I need to do occasionally is clean any clay off of my uh, board because when I start rolling wax or forming wax on my cutting board I don't want to mix clay with my wing my uh, wax so that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna make some saddle bags to go on the horse's saddle and I gotta make them both the same size I'm gonna put uh, saddle bags and a slicker tied on to his uh, saddle uh, because it started raining uh, while he was on the trail with the, with the cattle, uh, he'd probably want to have himself protected from that rain. All right, I'm making the uh, overlapping flap for the uh, saddlebag. Heating up the blade a little bit helps uh, keep it from catching. On the wax, I'm pulling it. That's one down. All right, I'm making a strap that uh, would hold the uh, flap down.
what I did was I took a, a flattened piece of uh, wax and put it through my pasta machine, the uh, wide pasta rollers, so that the uh, strap would be the same width on both sides. leather loop that uh, the strap would fit down through. Okay, I'm going to take the back of the saddle bag and put it against the flame just to melt it a little. Trying not to burn my hands doing it. And then I'm just going to Set that saddle bag right there. Okay, now I'm going to make the uh, coat that's going to go across the saddle. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make uh, it look like the coat has been bunched up. And what I've got is my caliper is set for the distance between the uh, two saddlebags, which would be about where it would be tied onto the saddle. And uh, gotta get my metal tool. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make wrinkles in the coat. And most of the wrinkles are gonna be right where the coat is being tied to the saddle. I gotta heat my blade up just a little. And I gotta get my light so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, the kind of wax that I'm using is Victory Brown wax, if you're wondering. You can actually order it off of uh, Amazon. Or from... Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. All right, I'm attaching this to the uh, back of the saddle. And I'm going to make some ends to the uh, coat. All right, that's uh, the coat attached to the back of the saddle. All right, I got the saddle on the horse. And uh, the next thing will be to uh, do the uh, cinch or cinches. And I'm gonna go 
upstairs and go through my reference materials and on all that I've got to uh, review how they were cinched up and all that stuff um, I will come back down tomorrow and uh, hopefully be able to work that out all right good night everybody the price of beef <laughs> Um, yeah. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.